Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming on this rainy day. I appreciate it a lot. Um, it's very kind. Um, my name is Teresa Dirks. I'm an artist, painter, and poet. Um, I'm formerly an art educator and environmental educator. I'm on a trip with my family to the St. Louis Museum. I saw my first Morse Lewis painting and it was just monumental. Um, I can't explain what I felt, but I knew that then I was supposed to paint. It was a life-altering experience. Um, so m my son told me, you know, we live in an art desert, and he said, Mom, you need to explain how you made your own creativity where we were. So I, I was an avid independent study. I studied photography, I studied gardening, I studied cooking, I studied baking. I learned to do all those things pretty successfully. Um, and I kind of created my own private Idaho. If any of you are familiar with B-52s, um, that's, that's what I did. That was my theme song. So, um, a little more about me. We grew up, as I said, in a very rural area. Uh, my husband had built a geodesic dome. We lived there for 30 years. We raised a beautiful family. And we were 30, only 30 minutes from the Mississippi River. So the, the delta and the horizon was a very defining moment, or had a, had a defining, um, well, defined my work. I'm a little nervous, I'm sorry. Um, and then, as an adult, I went back to school. I studied English and uh, art. I majored in creative writing, emphasis in poetry. I minored in art, and then I went back to school to get my master's to teach art. So we're going to forward a few years. Um, we were able to move to closer to the Kansas City area, uh, closer to my granddaughter. I now have four granddaughter or four grandchildren, um, but we jumped on it. There was no looking back. Uh, we were in Warrensburg, and this started start sparking a few opportunities. I won the Missouri Arts Council Award Poster Award uh, for 2011. So this was given to all the recipients of the award in 2011 at the Rotunda in Jefferson City. Uh, then my image was used on all the 2012 publications for Missouri Arts Council, which I was very honored. Um, since we moved to Kansas City, I've been accepted into this generous and loving, uh, vibrant Kansas City artist community, and I thank you all for that. It's been wonderful. Uh, two years ago, I moved into the Livestock Exchange Building, I moved my studio from home to there, um, and it's just, it's just been fabulous. Um, so this is a piece, Mississippi River, um, and this is about my art and my process. So no matter where you are or who you are, you all have a horizon or a sunset. And so you have that connection. That's the connection to humanity that we all experience. That is the string that ties us together. So my work is an abstraction of that concept. Uh, we are all interwoven and interconnected. So another thing I feel as we're merging into this crazy new world of um, technology and we're online all the time and the political unrest that's going on, I think it's really vital that we do make those connections. We all really are, we all have the same wants and needs. So it's my desire for unity and my desire for um, sense of community. As I said, I fell in love with Morris Lewis's painting. Um, uh, it, it was Alpha Tai, if anybody wants to go look it up later. As I mentioned, also, I'm a poet, and I studied Walden and Transcendentalism. Um, I love the brevity and the contemplation of modern poetry, so this is why I make my art the way I do. It's about the succinctness of that. So, oops, I'm not supposed to change yet. Don't tell me. <laughs> okay. Um, so my art is about s simplicity. Um, but crazy, it's, it becomes complex at times, too. Uh, I love the ability to break something down into its essentials. So whether it's a painting of a moment or a poem of a single experience, that's what my art is about. It's about the essence, and the, it's about humanity. Uh, and that's what I want to share today. 
So challenges, as all artists, I need to hurry, uh, we all struggle uh, with the business world. Uh, also, I struggle with balance between family. Recently, my husband's just retired. I have two boys, two wonderful daughter-in-laws, four grandkids. Um, income, um, did I mention my husband's retired? Did I say that yet? <laughs> so um, I want to be more intentional. I want to curate my actions to do that, and I want to do that by maybe possibly making the world kinder. So five-year goals, new bodies of work, I want to lighten my load on the planet. Um, so I'm rethinking some of my ideas. Uh, I have a son in California. I'd love to have a studio there at some point. I already have an audience. Um, I want to beef up my commercial online sales. As she said, I'm with you, Gallery, but I'd love to develop my own online sales um, and expand into new markets and, and have more representation. My needs, enhancing my community. Um, my network, um, increasing revenue, and I think I already mentioned this. I don't, we don't have a paycheck anymore, so, <laughs> so I am it. Um, but I, I want to sustain a, a desirable income just to help us all th through Dave's retirement. So uh, I want to be self-sufficient. Um, an intern to possibly help me with business, uh, and I want to reflect and have more deliberate studio time. And I want to thank each one of you for coming today. I appreciate your support. Uh, thank you to Susanna and Ebony and everyone at Gilded. Um, thank you to the Kemper for hosting. Um, you can connect with me at TeresaDirks.com on Instagram or Facebook. I also have business cards in the back. Um, we have our open studios October 12th and 13th at um, the Livestock Exchange. We do designate ourselves as Stockyard Studios, but it is at the Livestock Exchange building. Um, please watch for announcements there. We're on Facebook and we're also on Instagram. We are delighted, as, as uh, Vanessa mentioned, to be part of the Open Spaces Expanded Field this year. Uh, super excited about that. And then also, we'll be doing Arts Alive in December, so stay tuned for that. It'll be the first weekend, but the date will be announced later. Thank you all. I appreciate you coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, I have a son. Well, both my sons went to school here. One landed here and one landed in California, in Sacramento. Um, and so he's been there almost 10 years. And, um, you know, of course, I've given him lots of work for his birthdays or, or you know, the children's birthdays or Rima's birthday. And so I have work there and everyone uh, is wanting some. <laughs> so I have an, a built-in audience and I, I had just a, like an, a salon at their house last year and sold quite a few pieces. So, you know, that's, that's my connection. So any other questions? Well, thank you. Does anyone have any, uh, does anyone have any, um, uh, insight on an intern for, with a photography and organization. Any, or, any uh, organizations in here that work with interns or may know of a good? I have a question, is that paid? Or, uh, is probably paid probably not paid, paid, paid at this paid. point, yeah. I could pay you an art. question <laughs> back <laughs> So the second one from the bottom, discussion, critiquing, guiding, um, we, I love our building, Yes. and there are a couple of people in the building that have, on a regular basis, critiqued my work, and it has been so helpful. Oh, really? Okay. Um, I don't know if there are other people that would be interested in making it something more formal. Um, you know, if we could... It's, it can be hard, I know. Yeah, it is, it is. But yeah. it also can bring insights that... Well, that's one thing I love about our building. Everyone is gracious. And I have spoken to a lot of you about questions or solutions or problems, so I'm very thankful for, for that. But I'd like a little something more solid, I think, yeah. But yeah. That, that would be good. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Um, you know, all of our work is going to be in the gallery in October. Maybe we should all just have a critique then. Great idea. Voluntary. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. 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 That would be super. I would love yeah. that. Thank you. Yeah. Huh. Um, <coughs> Teresa, um, 
there's a lot of people here, but not the most of you. We are at the end of reach here in town. But you haven't given us very much detail about where your current part in the town is derived from. Now, is it mostly, or is it in person sales? Are you doing online sales? Are you selling large work, small work? You know, what's your pricing philosophy? I think there are a lot of different strategies to increase your revenue. But most of them, the, the ones that are most likely to be successful, need to take into account where the revenue is coming from currently and how that might be solved up. And the dollars have trouble because the prices are were too low, some prices are too high, some don't understand how to do it. Range of prices, and if you can tell a bit more about what your current income stream is like, you might just some suggestions for how to solve that up. Most of my sales, you know, have been from connections, personal connections, or you know, once or twice removed. Um, I have had, you know, some corporate sales that have come out of the blue. Um, I'm now with you gallery. Uh, I've had two sales with them this year, hoping to, uh, you uh, gallery is an online gallery. Um, I found out about them through someone in California in Sacramento and they recommended that I apply with them. So they only take less than 5% of the people who apply. Um, they're very stringent. Um, also, their photography is, there's a real learning curve for that. It took me a couple of months to get accustomed to what exactly they wanted. I had a lot of rejections. So um, I've been doing that and working with them. Uh, they have 450 artists worldwide. They sell in 50 countries. They sell in all 50 states. Um, they have 1.6 million followers on social media. So. Um, that's one place where I'm, I've really been focusing this year, uh, putting more work. I've put more work on, well, I've put about 18 pieces this year. You know, most of them small, but, um, and I have a variety of price points. Um, I st traveled to California with a lot of small pieces, and was, I bought large suitcases so I could travel and um, sold work there. So it's, it's, it's a learning experience for me. All uh, business is, is the, the tough end of this. So, how have you approached? What's your strategy for getting more gallery representation? Well, uh, honestly, I need to apply more. You know, that's that's it's on me. I I haven't I've haven't pursued it like I need to. So, do you, do you have Grant Miller? Who? Grant Miller. Grant Miller. Did you have to do Grant? No, I don't think so. Mm -mm. This one is the first Charlotte Street artist. Okay. Uh, he, okay. He's a, he has a good, he's a good advice source for your back. Okay. He's about the real clear strategy for how to find, you know, identify, and then try to build a relationship with the gallery. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, on the intern front, especially the unpaid interns, it might be good to look at the, you know, the art departments or the business departments at the local colleges oh, that's and see what idea. their requirements are for okay. getting, um, getting them class credit for internships. Oh, yes. So okay. You know, this is, don't necessarily have to pay them then. Yes. <laughs> um, but uh, depending on where it is, um, you might have to like give them certain projects or have them sure. do like, writing assignments or something like that. Okay. So it might be more time intensive on you know teaching them in the beginning. The part, right. But it would mm -hmm. be free then. Okay. Good idea. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. I, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Teresa, I should probably know this, but could you kind of explain or expand on what you mean by 
making your art more intentional? Um, well, we're, we're sort of at a pivotal moment. Uh, you know, Dave is retiring. I am still working. Um, and so I want to be thoughtful in what I take on and where I put my energy because I have less energy than I used to. Um, <laughs> but I, I also want to be more focused and um, be more selective, I guess. I, I want, you know, in a lot of different areas. You know, as, as you, I'm, I think I'm becoming a little wiser maybe, mm -hmm. I hope. <laughs> but I'm, I'm hoping that I can be more structured and, and um, Intentional, yeah, yeah. Deliberate, deliberate, yes, yes. Does anyone have any One connections sites, yeah. in California with any artists there? Or any experience with developing an online commercial site on her website? Yeah, I use Squarespace. Um, okay. Welcome with that. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, so I'm actually working on redeveloping my website right now as well, and I'm I don't know if you've heard of art storefronts. I have. Is that I've seen their advertisement? I think on Facebook, right? Yeah, and I'm just I'm pretty new with it, so I'm still I'm not live with it or anything. But uh -huh. it's uh, it's kind of an investment price-wise, but um, it really puts the power back in your hands rather than having gallery representation outside of yourself. Gives you the tools, and they provide marketing uh, advice and kind of a playbook every season for selling your work. Now, they're really focused more on prints. Okay. So, I don't know, are you making prints of your work? In I'm not. This, uh, the image that I showed at the Missouri Arts Council poster, that's the only poster I've ever had made. Okay. So Yeah. So, they really offer a lot with that because they hook you up with a specific printer in the U.S. and they have one in California. Okay. So. okay. Um, but you can also sell originals or limited editions, things that you would ship out to somebody. So Sure. I don't know. It's really, I mean, there is a learning curve with it, but I'm, I'm excited about the possibilities with it. So right. that, um, well, um, maybe we can exchange emails and you can, sure. we can, you can let me know how it goes in yeah. the next month or so once you go live. Yeah. I think I'm following you now, so well, yeah, we can talk after this. Right, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate okay. that. Thank you. Any thoughts on increasing gallery representation? What, and, what, and what are your thoughts on gallery representation? If you are an artist and you're working with galleries, do you have advice? Who's representing Just you, gallery. And they're, they're specific. Once my piece is, it's dedicated to them once I've listed it with them. No. I, I can pull it, pull it. I can request to pull it, but it takes a couple of weeks. So um, they want exclusivity. Um, so, I recommend having someone um, promote you at two galleries, like for instance, uh, especially here in other cities. Uh, we had a performer through here who, um, to get bookings in other cities, he has a friend in that city approach the venue. Uh, and I've actually gotten a couple artists in because I knew the gallery, and they actually heard of the artist, they just hadn't reached out to them yet. And I'm like, let me reach out to them for you. <laughs> so they got to contact with them right away. So sometimes you're on the gallery's mind and they're aware of you, and sometimes it just takes that extra push. It's if it's a local gallery, and then if it's an external gallery, like the next thing, you know, she, she you know, um, call for artists is an expense. And if you have someone, you know, your, your um, son or someone um, or daughter in law may be interested in approaching a couple galleries for you who would just like, be open to representing galleries or artists outside of their immediate locale. Okay. Thank you. I do have work on VanessaLacy.com. Mm -hmm. So, yes. I'm a featured artist. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Susanna. Hello. I'm intrigued that uh, both Vanessa and Teresa were educators before, because I really think that art and education go hand in hand. And I guess my, it's more of a wondering than a question, but I'm like, I'm wondering what you can both pull forward. You know, whether you're educating about your paintings and poetry, I think that's actually really interesting. Use your paintings to, you know, educate people about what you do and what you think, or, or 
or doing with the Vanessa's gallery and like music gallery. I think that's a really good way of getting people, like people who aren't maybe art people, who are people who do a lot of art work. You know, that, that I think that it's like just a wondering, you know, how can you use that body of knowledge that you have as an educator to, to, to help your work and just to help your life as an artist. That's, that's good perspective. Um, do you have any thoughts on that, Vanessa? Oh, I was saying the other day when I was full time teaching, I was I was really good at saying no to all the committees. <laughs> Vanessa said, you know, I, I think everyone, if I went to any of you here in this room, you would be more than willing, and I have with many of you, uh, and I appreciate that. Um, just just uh, be a, a, a peer mentor, and, um, you know, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Uh, very approachable. Um, I love collaboration. Um, if you have any thoughts at all, I'm willing to listen so yeah um, thank you so much thank you all thank you thank you